Today we're going to talk about the difference between an extension spring and a torsion spring, the pros and the cons to both. First of all, you have a torsion spring. A torsion spring, if you have a big double door, this is the only spring that you're going to use. Uh, it's it's going to last roughly six to eight years, uh, and the bigger the spring, the longer it's going to last. Uh, this is the safest spring. When it breaks, it's contained on a bar. It's going to balance the door better. So really, when we're talking about torsion spring versus an extension spring, we're talking about small doors. You can use either one. With an extension spring, this is going to last probably 10 to 15 years. So your lifespan is going to be twice as much with the extension spring as opposed to the torsion spring. But of course, if this spring breaks, it could get loose in your garage. It could hurt your car, your kids, yourself, whomever. It could cause damage. They do come with safety cables nowadays, but that is the real difference in these springs. It's not going to balance quite as well as the torsion springs, but if you've got a small door, it's not a very big deal. Most times these days, people have a garage door opener. So if you've got a garage door opener, that door is going to put, put the door up and down in the exact same place, so your balancing is not as big a deal. If you do have uneven concrete, the torsion spring would also be a good option in that situation as well. Hopefully you learned something today on the extension springs versus the torsion springs. We'll talk to you later.